I am Dr. Deepti and I welcome you to the mini lecture series on the subject Physics of Semiconductor Devices. Let us begin by trying to know the motivation for learning the subject. Now, if I ask you a question that do you think it is necessary to learn the subject Physics of Semiconductor Devices, how are you going to react? Or what answers are you going to give? Well, if some of you thought of using Google to answer my question, think again of what exactly you are doing. You are going to use either your mobile phone or a computer in order to conduct Google search. But both the mobile phone as well as computer would not have existed if there were no semiconductor devices. Similarly, there are several more applications of semiconductor devices. In fact, the fact that I am able to talk to you and you are able to listen to me irrespective of being on completely different geographical locations is also due to semiconductor devices. Look around you and you are going to see some more semiconductor devices like LED, light emitting diode. If you have a solar heater, you are using solar cells, again a semiconductor device and so on and so forth. So now it is clear that we need to know about semiconductor devices because we use them every day. It's a subject very, very relevant to us. Now what about physics of semiconductor devices? Well, all these semiconductor devices work on certain principles. So, physics of semiconductor devices basically describes the principles on which these semiconductor devices work and hence lead to several applications. So, now do you understand the motivation behind learning the subject physics of semiconductor devices? Great. Let us explore this subject further in our next lectures. Till then. Bye.